going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cool Whip Tim, coming back at you with the Raiders recap of the Rams game yesterday. And I can I say the defense is fucking garbage, bro. Holy shit, man. It seems like every year it gets worse and worse and worse and worse, okay? Starting from... When we started from 2011, after we lost Awesome Wall, we look we look really shitty on defense. Couldn't stop the run. We weren't that bad on. We weren't that bad in the secondary. Actually, we were pretty shitty. We had Chris Johnson in our fucking secondary. It, we were, it was pretty bad. 2012, we couldn't stop the run or the fucking pass. 2013 came. We could stop the run a little bit, but we always got our ass fucking torched in the secondary. Okay, DJ Hayden's rookie year. I probably should have we. How do I have seen that shit coming back then, okay? Fucking 2014, we could stop the run even more because we had Khalil Mack. But we still cannot stop anyone in the secondary. Because our fucking, our secondary can, was, uh, our secondary, uh, was, what's that word I'm looking for? Consisted of, who's on our secondary at 2014? I know we had fucking, uh, Tracy Porter was already gone. Fuck, we didn't even have any of our secondary from this year. All I know is Charles Woodson was back there. We had Mike Jenkins, I want to say. That team was fucking garbage, dude. Holy shit. 2015, we ended up signing fucking, um, we have Woodson. We have, we signed Nate Allen. We signed fucking, um, I think Nico Thorpe was in our fucking secondary, too. We had TJ Carey. That shit was garbage. And then mid the middle of the season we signed David Emerson. Uh and he played good at the end of that season. The fuck was that, whatever. Um 20, 2015, we signed Emerson, he played good at the end of the season. We extended him for another three or four years. 2016, we signed Sean Smith, signed Reggie Nelson, and draft Carl Joseph. Carl Joseph's probably the only guy that's still producing on the fucking defense in the secondary. And next thing you know, Sean Smith is fucking garbage. Still on the team. Lost the starting spot. Had to come back for it. It's fucking garbage. Oh, my God. We made... Dude, this defense made Jared Goff look like the fucking number one pick he should have been back back last year, okay? He, we, he was... He led the worst fucking offense last year. This dude went 0-7 in all of his starts. And we made him look like a fucking... We made him look like he was playing against old Pac-12 defenses back when he was at fucking Berkeley, okay? Like, we can't be doing that. Ken Norton Jr., you gotta fucking go, dude. I'm sorry. You're, you you gotta go. Because we can't just keep doing some shit with it. We can't be having Khalil Mack, Carl Joseph, Garyon Conley, and Obi Melifonwu. We can't be having all this young talent on defense. And next thing you know, we end up looking like a complete piece of fucking shit. I, I, he, you should have been gone after that fucking debacle in Houston last January in the fucking playoffs when Brock Osweiler torched our fucking asses for, and beat the hell out of us. What was the score? I think the score was like 27 to 10 or some shit like that. It was fucking retarded. Or t 27 to 14. It was something stupid. We got fucking torched. But yeah. Offense on the other hand, offense, offense looked fucking good. They looked fucking fantastic. Marshawn had two carries for ten yards. I think he only played a couple series. Carr had a uh, hundred yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. That pick wasn't. Uh, I think it's just still him coming off the injury. But who knows? Um, Cooper and Crabtree. <laughs> oh, those boys about to be a fucking problem this year, man. I'm telling you. When Cooper had that fucking reception, where he caught over three defenders. It's over, man. We about to fucking run through this fucking league this year, man. Oh, my God. That receiving corp is fucking nasty, man. Lee Smith had a nice fucking touchdown catch. Crabtree put that dude on fucking skates, man. It was a, 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 it was a little... I don't want to say it's a bubble screen. I think it was like a little short. It was like a curl or a slant route. I forgot what it was. He went. He, he kept going. And he fucking cut back to the, uh, to the, in, to the outside. Where he dove for the pylon and got in, which is fucking dope. So Crabtree, 
Kudos to you, bro. Motherfuckers are going to start putting some respect in your name because we all know that you fucking deserve it, okay? No one gives a shit about what you did in San Francisco anymore, all right? It, it's fucking... That, all that shit is over. You have a quarterback that actually throw you the goddamn football. So now you can get your career going as it should have been when you when you got into the league back in 09. So... <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry. Well, yeah, man. Fucking offensive line looked pretty good. Um, Cordell Patterson looked pretty good. EJ Manuel did not look as good as I thought he, he did back in the first game. Man, he was playing like garbage. <clears throat> Missing throws. Not any good reads. Um, Jalen Rashard looked really good, though. Jalen Rashard looked good. Washington looked good. I don't know what we're going to do with Elijah Hood, though. I don't know if we're going to keep him or if what we're going to do. Because if we keep him, I mean, that gives us four running backs, and I don't know if we could do that. I don't know if we should do that. It, it'd be a good idea too, but the thing is, I know we always fucking sign George Atkinson during the fucking preseason. We still have Zach Crockett over there uh, in the backfield too. So as of right now, we have we have six running backs. We're for sure gonna get rid of two. I think Atkinson and Crockett are fucking gone. Um, Depending on how Elijah Hood plays the next couple games, next next couple preseason games will determine whether he will be gone or not. So we gotta see what goes down there. It's a seventh fucking round pick. He's probably not gonna make the team anyways. So sorry, I'm watching the Andrew game. Pulos is up to bat. So um, yeah, it was fucking offensive, fucking fantastic. Defense is, is still trash as fuck. Defense wins championships. And with this defense, we ain't winning shit. Let's be fucking real. I'm sorry. We're just not. Ken Norton, you need to go, man. I, we, I wanted Wade Phillips so fucking bad, dude. You don't understand. I wanted to fire Ken Norton and go after Wade Phillips. But fucking Reggie, Reggie decided to keep fucking Ken Norton for, the, for another fucking year. I say by the bye week, if this motherfucker, not even by the bye week, I say week number, let's go week number four or five, okay? Week number four or five, if this motherfucker does not step up his defense, if we're not improved, then we are, and he's fucking out of here. I don't know who our defensive coordinator will be the interim if that happens, but I just know he will for sure be fucking gone by week four. The latest is the bye week. The latest he'll be gone will be the fucking bye week. He will be gone, so that way it gives us a week to prepare with the new system, okay? Um, yeah, besides that, man, Cooper Krupp was fucking wide open in the end zone. The first drive that the Rams had, I said, Pools, no, shit, he's out. Um, Cooper Krupp was wide the fuck open in the corner of the end zone. I don't even know if they were playing zone, if they were playing man-on-man. -man. I don't know what the fuck they were playing over there, but it looked, like, it looked garbage, man. So... That's about it, guys. Um, fuck. Uh, off, I'm glad to see what the offense is. Shit. I'm glad to see the offense is playing like a bunch of fucking strong-ass men. Same as last year, man. Fucking Downey looks pretty good. Like, with the play call he has with there, with the offense, with the starters, man. Todd Downey looks like he's going to do a pretty good job this year, man. I'm not going to give fucking... Uh, what's his fucking face? Um, Musgrave. I'm not going to give Musgrave any fucking... Props because well I gotta give him some props because he did he did in, um, infiltrate Carr to be better to be better I don't know if it, it's probably because of his talent but I gotta give play call not play calling but like coaching he coached him up to be what he could be today so right now I just think the play calling with Todd Downing could be a old, what, hell of a lot better than that, what it was with fucking um, Bill Musgrave so. It's basically it, guys. There's really much else to do, man. I'm fucking ready for SummerSlam. You can see I'm wearing my fucking Shinsuke shirt. I'm wearing a fucking Ryan bandana. I, I look like a fucking weirdo, but it's SummerSlam, so I give zero fuck, zero fucks at this point. So, hope you guys have a great weekend, man. Next week we got fucking Mayweather and McGregor. It's gonna be a fucking fight. I cannot wait. It's not gonna be a fight. Mayweather's gonna beat the shit out of him, but it's very. I'm, it's the same day as the Raiders Cowboys game. Uh, I, don't, I think I think the Raiders Cowboys game starts at seven, it's seven or five. One one of those two. I hope it starts at five, so that way it can I can watch a lot of the starters before the actual fight comes on. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you guys have a great week. School's back in session, so I hope everybody 
and or if if you have kids, I hope I uh, wish them the best and good luck for the school year. And I uh, hope just take care, guys. Peace out.